Hello folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today from a place where none of us are in any particular hurry to get into, but sadly we're all destined to end up in one, one way or another. Today I've come to my local cemetery, which is Wigan Cemetery. It was built in, the, in 1865 I believe, in the Victorian era, and it was built as a result of the burial acts of the 1850s, which put the onus on towns and cities to provide burial areas in the Victorian era in England and Wales. And the idea of these cemeteries was simply to accommodate all the people that was flooding into towns because of the Industrial Revolution. Before that era, sadly, they was just burying people in little churchyards and city cemeteries and simply they couldn't cope. There was all kinds of things going on, such as graves being reopened, in some cases five years after a burial, the occupant being turfed out and it was causing lots of problems, not just aesthetically, but uh, certainly public health wise. So the government decided to bring the burial act in and they made it that way as graves couldn't be touched for 100 years. So that's why all towns and cities have a cemetery dating from that era. Now we've not come today to have a look around Wigan Cemetery at any notable graves of such. We've come to have a look at a cemetery within a cemetery. And what I mean by that, Hot Potters, is there's an area of this particular cemetery that's overgrown and abandoned and it's where all the old gravestones are taken to once the leases expire on the graves or they get damaged and they're just simply dumped. This area in this particular cemetery has existed for about 30 years that I know of because I used to come round here a lot both as a kid and as a young adult walking dogs and that so uh, we're going to take a look now at this particular area and see if those gravestones are still in there as far as I know they still are and it's still overgrown I'll whip the camera around now give you a, a quick little shot of where we're going to be heading over to and then we'll make our way in there Okay folks, well here we are, here is that little area of the cemetery that I was talking about where I estimate there are dozens of gravestones just abandoned and have been dumped here. This area of Wigan Cemetery has existed for about a good 30 years as I know of. Originally, way back through those trees there used to be like a brick shed and that's where all the cemetery staff they would put all the mechanical equipment you know for opening up the graves in the cemetery and keeping maintenance but down the years due to vandalism and it keep getting broken into they demolished it and it's just become overgrown but these old gravestones have been left behind I mean here's one perfect example of one that you can easily make the names out of the Sarah Ran Hilton, the beloved wife of William Hilton, died August the 11th, 1940, aged 68 years. Now that's not really an old grave, wherever it's come from. So it does make you wonder how that gravestone has ended up in here. Now, admittedly some of these bits of stones are damaged, but that's probably just been with the cemetery staff when they remove them just throwing them in here without any love or care you know they wouldn't have placed them there they would have just shoved them off a wagon I should imagine it looks like at some point in time they did start stacking the marble surrounds up onto pallets probably with the intention of moving them on elsewhere and reusing them reselling them whatever but it never happened for whatever reason There's another gravestone that's almost intact. Can't really make the names out on that one. But I'm sure if we keep mooching around, we will find some that you can make the names out on. It's a bit strange being in this particular area and walking on these gravestones because I was always brought up, probably like many of you out there, not to walk on, on graves. Treat them with respect, so... Although these have been decommissioned, it still seems funny. And stepping on them feels wrong somehow. 
There's another one there, in loving memory of Gordon Meadows, who died July 14th, 1964, aged 42 years. Why is your gravestone abandoned in this little area of Wigan Cemetery Garden? I wonder. Who knows? Now, admittedly, a lot of these pieces of marble, which you have to say, back in the day when they was commissioned for the people who passed away, would have cost a pretty penny. The cemeteries, they tried to discourage people placing them around graves simply because they couldn't get round with the mowers. So, they did try and get families to remove them or when the graves lease expired because you, you don't own a grave you only lease it for so long apparently once that had happened then the council can take over and they can choose if they like to remove them and that's probably what happened with the vast majority in here but there's also as I say a number of pieces of memorials with names on there's another one there just hidden it looks like it would have had a cross on it at some point. That one though. John Cardline, is it? Cardline? I don't know, you can't make that out. Yeah, very eerie being in this area. Amazing to think that all these memorials at one time would have been a family's pride and joy to a loved one that's passed away. As I say, it feels funny walking on some of these memorials because I was brought up that you didn't do that. You know, you, uh, you respected cemeteries. Don't know if you can make that out there. The name Melling on that that piece of memorial. It's also funny seeing names of you know stonemasons and other mon monumental masons that who themselves have passed away and moved on. You don't see the names on them anymore. Obviously the big names here are Vertis and Middleton and Wood. There's that one there, that's got Vertis on it, albeit it's upside down. And it actually has the grave number on where that one's come from. P115. And I believe you can look up all the cemeteries in the Wigan area. And find out where those graves are, whether or not they've got new memorial stones on them or indeed they no longer have them, who knows. There's many other gravestones but they're face down so we can't see the names on them and I'm not going to try and lift them. We'll just uh, leave this area I think as it is. Right then, I'll make my way back out there and we'll wrap this little video up, Hot Potters. Well, folks, that'll just about do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this video here from Wigan Cemetery and a little look at the mystery of why there's so many abandoned gravestones in a forgotten corner of this particular cemetery. Now, it could be that the grave leases expired and that's why the headstones were removed and they're over there awaiting collection by the families who'll never come and remove them. Or... It could be that the families concerned have asked for them to be removed and the council have done the work for them but they didn't follow up on their promise of destroying them. It does state on the Wigan Council website that if they remove a headstone they will destroy it. It would appear that in those cases it hasn't happened for whatever reason. Anyway folks, I'll leave it to you. You can discuss at your leisure regarding what you think has happened and why those headstones have ended up in there. I'm out of here, I'm going to go and get a brew now. So until the next time, from myself, Mr H, as always, it is. Bye-bye for now.